Yeah, I'm back, guys. I do apologize for that. My phone died out, so had to let it charge out real quick. But this is it right now. As you see, I put the first uh, layer of resin on there. So this part right here I left empty. So when I use my cutting tool, I'm going to cut through here. Nice and flush and easy. That way because all the control switch goes there. But I'm going to make this look nice and cleaner when I cut through it again with my Dremel. So I'm going to use that Dremel. It's going to look better. But this is it right now. You can see. Also, I'm going to hit this part right here with it. Hit this part because this part didn't go good. But really, again, you're not going to see this part. So when I cut through it nice and neat with it, I'm going to let it harden some more. I'm going to cut through it right that piece right here with a Dremel so it can look flush and easy. Because, again, it sits like this. And again, like I said, you can see where the screw mark at. Like I said, I'm going to countersink where the screw go right here. I'm going to countersink this other part right here. This other part. Again, like I said, I could go out and go to the junkyard, which I've been through the junkyard. I could not find this at all. The only reason why I'm fixing it is because this whole thing is cracked right here. It's all cracked right here. So every time I try to close the door, it gets worse and worse. And I'm like, you know what? I got to do something with it. And putting glue and crazy glue on it is kind of whack because, again, what are we? Amateurs? But uh, since I can do fiberglass and I'm decent with it, I'm just going to do the whole thing in fiberglass, paint it up, make it look good. So when it dries up real good, I'm going to take a, like, probably like a 100 or 200 grit, sand it down just a little bit. All I'm trying to do is just get all the surface on it to make it a little easier. I'm going to just take it down just a little bit with 100 grit, probably with 80 grit. No, nah, not too heavy. I'm probably going with 200 grit. Just take it down just a little bit because I ain't trying to go all the way down. And then we'll put the uh, layer of resin fiberglass on it. When I do that, then I'm going to take another down again. I'm going to take it down with the fiberglass. And then I'm going to put the Rondo on. Like I said, Rondo is a mixture of Bondo and resin put together. What it is is like a self-leveling adhesive. So I don't feel like buying more stuff. But you could, if you want to go out and go buy some stuff to level that, you can go do that. But I ain't doing all that, so... Again, I'm going to cut you back on again. I'm going to sh shave all this down right here. Clean it. I'm going to just let it dry some more. It's already dry. As you can hear. But I want to dry some more because it's, it's kind of somewhat tacky. Even though you may not think it's, it's dry, it's still dry because it's still flimsy a little bit. So I'm going to let it cure some more. I'm going to catch you back as I go again. And by the time I'm ready to go, I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut it down. Just break it down a little bit and cut this piece off right here. Break it down a little bit. Sand it. Put the first layer of fiberglass. And again, this is for the door jam, so I'll hit you back up.